Hey there, fellow developers. Welcome back to another exciting video. Today, we're diving into the world of JSX, the love-hate relationship of React developers. Now, many of us have used JSX in the context of React, but have you ever wondered how to break free from that React connection and use JSX independently? Well, stick around because that's exactly what we're exploring today. But before we jump into the nitty-gritty, let's quickly recap what JSX is and why it's such a big deal in the web development world. JSX, or JavaScript XML, has revolutionized how we build dynamic and responsive user interfaces, mainly within the React framework. It's like HTML, but with a JavaScript flavor. JSX tags are actually JavaScript functions, a little mind-blowing, right? Now, while JSX was initially designed for React, it has evolved into a powerful tool that can be used beyond the React ecosystem. So, how do we harness the power of JSX outside of React? Well, grab your coding gear because we're about to embark on a journey to build our very own template engine. Imagine being able to use JSX syntax in scenarios that go beyond the traditional React framework, pretty cool, huh? Let's break it down step by step. First things first. Create a new project directory and initialize a new node project. I've already done this. Next, we're going to need a transpiler to transform JSX into JavaScript objects. I'll be using Babel for this. To install Babel, open the terminal and run npm install, save dev at Babel a core at Babel a CLI at Babel, plugin transform React JSX in your project. I have already installed Babel dependencies. Once that's done, create a babel.config.js file in the project root. In this file, we'll add the Babel plugin for transforming JSX. Also adding a runtime automatic and import source options. These options will help us import the JSX function in our code. Now, let's add scripts to the project package.json file for running Babel. This script will help us transpile the code from the src directory to the dist directory. In watch mode, Babel will watch for changes and transpile the code automatically. Time to add some JSX. Create an app.jsx file in the src directory. This file will be our playground for JSX experimentation. Let me quickly add a simple JSX code snippet to get us started. I also added a simple JavaScript code to append the JSX element to the DOM. Let's run the build command to see the magic. Babel transpiled our JSX code into a JavaScript function. Notice the addition of the JSX function, this is crucial for creating HTML elements from JSX. Now, let's create the JSX function. In the src a core directory, add a file named jsxruntime.js. This function is the heart of our template engine. I'll paste the code and walk you through it. The JSX function creates a new HTML element based on the tag name, adds attributes, appends children, and returns the element. For event handlers, attributes starting with on, we add event listeners. There are two more functions in the jsxruntime.js file. The append child and add a helper functions for appending children recursively to the parent element. Run the build command to check if our imports are correct. Now, how do we consume our transpiled code? Add webpack dev server to your project for serving. First, install the webpack dependencies using npm install save dev webpack webpack cli html webpack plugin. I have already installed the dependencies. Then, create a webpack.config.js file in the project root and add this configuration. I won't delve into all the details here, but make sure your entry in webpack points to the babel output file. Run the webpack dev server, making sure to start babel first. Voila! Our code works as expected, and we've crafted our own template engine. Let's kick it up a notch. Import other components in app.jsx. I'm bringing in a button component and adding an onclick event handler. Let's test it out by clicking the button. There you have it, folks. We've successfully built a JSX template engine that lets us use JSX independently of React. Check out the project link in the description for a working example. In future videos, we'll add a state to our template engine. Stay tuned for more coding adventures, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech goodness. Happy coding!